次は東山木高校空気中で起こる2つの校の機能のアカウントの発表ですそれでは発表を始めてください Good morning everyone We are second year student at 倉敷山木シニア High School We will talk about the odd falling motion of two light objects in air Introduction We drop of two two light objects of the same size and the same weight at the same time. And we will we can able to observe the odd falling motion of the two light objects. We performed some experiments to find out more about this motion. This is a paper cone that we used. This is a machine that we used to drop the two paper cones. This machine has two electromagnets. We, we experimented dropping the two paper cones at the same time from the two electromagnets. Then we took pictures of the motion by using strobe scope and recorded the motion by using movie camera. This is the result. Please watch this movie. First, the two paper cones are attached to the electromagnets. As they fall, the two paper cones move close to each other and get separated. Here you, here you can see the parts that the two cones took as they fell. Please look at this figure. A shows this area. B shows this density. A、uh, this velocity. Rho shows the air, air density. The product of rho, a, b is constant. This is the law of conservation of mass. Please remember that the smaller the area where fluid flows becomes, the faster the fluid velocity becomes. Please look at this equation. The first term shows the fluid's kinetic energy per unit volume. The, third, the second term shows the fluid's potential energy per unit volume. And the third term shows the pressure.、And、this equation shows the conservation of energy. This is Bernoulli's principle. Please remember that the faster the fluid velocity becomes, the lower the pressure becomes. This figure, was,、uh, this figure shows the motion we actually observed. This graph was made from these two equations. The horizontal axis shows the vertical distance. The vertical axis shows the distance between two cones.、Uh, this, this graph shows the two paper cones kept moving close to each other. However, this figure Shows the two paper cones move close to each other without touching and then get separated. We had a point of difference between this figure and this graph. Let's investigate it. From the law of conservation of mass, the fluid velocity between the two cones is higher than those outside of the two cones. So, from the Bernoulli's principle, the fluid pressure between the two cones is lower than those outside of the two cones. So, they move close to each other. Now, let's consider about the fluid viscosity. Viscosity is like the friction. So, the fluid velocity between the two cones is lower. Than those outside of the two cones. So, from Bernoulli's principle, the fluid pressure between the two cones is higher than those outside of the two cones. So, they get separated. I think they will repeat this motion as they fall, but we are not able to observe this motion with the cones. 
Then we performed a second experiment by using two balls instead of two cones to observe the two balls move close to each other more than once. The experiment was performed about 60 times. This is the result. Please watch this movie. Here they move close to each other and get separated and move close to each other again. So we were able to observe the two balls move close to each other twice. First time the first time and second time, without touching each other. We thought about this result. The surface of, uh, the, surface of the ball is bigger than that of the cone. So the viscous force that acted on the ball is higher than that of the cone. So the balls move close to each other earlier and move close to each other twice. But the cones move close to each other later and move close to each other only once. For our future research, we want to describe this falling motion of the same cones and balls by using other equation and investigate quantitatively. This is our reference. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? ありがとうございました。これで空気中で起こる2つのコーンの機能なら感度の発表を終わります。